everyone, I'm Pringles for here today. I'm going to be um uh, talking about the history of me and Gravity Falls fan one two three. I'm very happy to do this video because I feel in a pretty okay mood today, and not to mention that um I really wanted this because Gravity Falls Street in the beginning of 2018 surely made me kind of sad. You know, like I'll tell you how basically she's going to Gravity Falls, she's going to the homes of friends, and she is repeating her history yet again from last year. When back in February, she teased me about Harry Beaks and where the fall she was moving away from. Well, she was moving on with Harry Beaks. And how does that end up? Well, she didn't move with Harry Beaks because Harry Beaks got cancelled. So that's why she got by Garth Falls, maybe. I don't know. She probably going to call the description below. But I'll tell you guys my history of me and Gartree. And only went through 2016 and 2017. This BFF has taken me around with about two years. And I've been having so much fun with you these two years. I well, thank you for personally being my PFF. I haven't gotten many friends in real life. This is very helpful. So I'll tell you what happened basically. It all started when one day Gertrude uploaded a video called Dipper's Puppet. And I was curious. Hmm. And I clicked the video. Then I saw basically Dipper Puppeteer Mabel with um his flashlight pretty much. Uh she has Guardian Falls toys, and I'm still mad I don't have any, but we kind of got, I hope she gets a P.O. box for these and send some, because I'm going to be very happy to have some and, and, you know, make videos, and yeah, you probably know me. Of course, let's not mention, I really love that, so yeah. And after it took one comment, one interesting comment, and a connection started between a bunch of comments, you have no idea how crazy it was. Basically, it was like this big project called Divas Puppet, and pretty much I actually, it was about like, you know, just stuff, and it was really interesting, and I and I actually made up a theory about this. Basically, um, yeah, but pretty much what happened is that I will always actually comment things, and it will become true in the actual project, and I thought it was pretty cool. Of course, I and and pretty much the finale actually before finale, Gushy asked me, oh, "I can't draw four. Can you please help me?" And I'm like, "Go and get, search up card for kids drawing tutorials of how to draw four, Basically, because she stinks drawing him, and she drew him. And in the video, he was absolutely adorable. I just love how she drew him. It was amazing. I would say her part, her drawing, even though it wasn't colored and it was rushed, I think it was still great. And after this, there was a sequel. Dipper's Puppet, Dipper and Control, and pretty much it happened back in July, and she asked me, can you please do the intro, and this was not doing intros for her, and I loved it, because I was interested for this very nice person who always liked me, she actually agreed with my opinions too, we have always agree with opinions, we don't exactly agree with all my opinions, but we have our likenesses, dislikenesses, but, you know, and in the, um, in, and in the second part, in the second, like, project, um, Dipper of God's Revenge, like, you know, <laughs> and I'll tell you guys what's up with Dipper in this. Basically, Gushy pretended that Dipper was a puppeteer, and pretty much, I love the idea. I actually, I actually make a conspiracy about that he was actually possessed by an evil fl magical flush device, because we get Dipper and all that stuff. And basically, you know, both had Mabel, then Pacifica, and then Candy. And then Ford stopped him at the end, so that was pretty good. And, of course, I just had so much fun, you know, on this uh, channel. I started commenting a bunch of stuff. I was commenting, like, I commented, like, after lunch and nighttime, and it was a lot of fun. Like, I just loved it. And in, in August, she made a brand new action introducement to making Ford evil. And very much that was Dipper um, for a slave. And I think that this took events after Canada and Masu because before this video there was Canada and Masu which I think was a spin-off of Shopkins Swing Boat and I gotta tell you I love Shopkins before and I love Swing Boat that was a great episode actually I loved um all of the interesting stuff that happened into it and that was why I loved it so pretty much what's happening is that there was an election and Masu was candidating for a kid mayor of Gravity Falls and there was also candidating in all that stuff, and after him winning the election, and basically everybody in the better really fourth final of actually making Run Guardian Falls into his slaves. That's pretty much when all the Guardian Falls characters 
just be the living heck out of him. So I guess this is his revenge by controlling, you know, like, the clothes to him that really liked him. Dipper. So, yeah, I actually really like this because, um, you know, like, Dipper 4 had these crazy addictions in their minds. Pretty much, uh, Dipper was able to hearing for just slavery. And that was pretty interesting. And then they teamed up in one big project called Dipper's Puppet Dipper 4 Take Control. And that was a really, really good project. I did the intro, and it was so much of fun seeing them, how they actually upgrade devices and, you know, do, like, Puppet Slave, you know, like, Mabel, and what's the thing called this? I can't exactly remember. And it was a whole bunch of fun. And of course, and of course, one thing that was actually very surprising is that I actually predicted that Dipper will trick fold. And pretty much that actually happened. And then basically MSU like saved the day. And that was really cool. And of course, the many new projects came in, many new shows. I just loved all she did in 2016. I think this sequel is actually not very bad year for me because I found, I met this person and she changed my life. She was actually a really good person. Me and her loved it. She re we just would do a lot of stuff in the comment section. And nobody actually, and then we'll make people in the comment section. It was pretty good because I can just chat along and then we can't, and then we can disturb us. So that was pretty good. But in 2017, there was something horribly happening. And that was that she was going out of Guardi Falls. And it was one of Harry Beaks. And I was like, what? 2017 already? And this is happening? I can't believe this. And then, like, and I understood because... Then I actually decided to watch Harry Beats, and I actually thought it was pretty cute. I thought it actually was really adorable. My favorite character out of Harry Beats was Foo, because he's just the adorable thing you'll ever see. I just think that Harry Beats was also a really good show, as well as Guardian Falls. So yeah. And be and here's the reason why the Guardian Falls tunes in the first place. It's because we're actually going out with Guardian Falls and leaving with, moving out with Harry Beats, is that I don't have the confidence to do Guardian Falls videos anymore. That's why in Guardian Falls tunes in the finale. So, that's the reason. <laughs> now you know the reason Guardian Falls fan intrigue. Yeah. Now you know the reason. But, thankfully, she did not quit. And that's why, and the Iran, she continued with Guardian Falls, um, the Guardian Falls show, uh, season 2. And Guardian Falls series season 3, and all that stuff. And, you know. And even the other shows. There was also Guardian Falls people got introduced, and she introduced a brand new OC. Um, many new you will see. She introduced London first, who was a fanfic about her and her backstory. And there was also Anne Cypher. She was a very good OC. I love your OCs, Garden Falls Fentry. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, your OCs are really good. My OCs are also good. So we got something very in, in common. And a lot of amazing stuff happened with me. But in 2017, a lot of bad stuff happened, actually. I'm not really happy 2017. I had a pretty bad year 2017, and gosh, I could tell that she was struggling with one bit of a problem that she was giving away her four cup cut out. But before that, there was also two projects that were happening in the moment, and that was Claire Ford's Slave and Dipper's Revenge, which basically was pretty interesting. Hmm. And later on, after giving out the cup cut of four, basically, she was canceled. And later on, in. in later on, she loved. started loving. Got the amazing well Gumball, and I was glad for that too because Gumball is actually a pretty fun show to watch. I do like the amazing well Gumball, although I'm happy with the episodes. But her favorite character of all time was Doctor Wrecker, aka Rob. <laughs> I like Rob too. Come on, we can we can all just like Rob. Never ever forget Rob, guys. Rob is amazing. <laughs> I just think Rob's one of the best Gumball characters actually. So. She was going to Falls again, and she was going to Gumball. And I was, and basically, what happens is that she was going to comment videos for three whole months. But then I commented a comment, and that changed. And I saw a bunch of Falls videos, but there were more Gumball videos at the moment. And there was a lot, and there was amazing memes, like the Happy with a Master meme, which I think was actually very fun. And there was the Wrecking Ball meme, and you know, all, all that stuff. She actually made a lot of memes then, and I really loved all the memes that happened to Gumball. Her birthday was amazing. She got um, a lot of stuff. And of course, you know, like Sam Chamber. And you know what happened is I pretty didn't really find this annoying, but she quit her channel because she thought she got like, you know, like freak out her tracks because she posted a video which she deleted. But um and she moved on with, with Guard Falls Fan 46. This was her Ultra channel. And she put a lot of new stuff there. And even, even more amazing is she, that she actually made a video on my birthday. And I was actually very happy. I was actually joyful. I was jumping out of joy because that was actually very kind of her. 
And the Garfield Play Fiction Super Boys, check out them and just comment. We will become with crazy predictions. We just love it. Also, I mentioned that Lily Force Slave is also my favorite project because basically, you know, Force Slave is Lily and Dipper gets mad about it. So, pretty much, he now knows for it. So, that's pretty much weird. But, yeah. I love being with this YouTuber. And I'm glad that she's still here from this day on. And I'm so happy being with you so much that I really like your channel. I just want to tell you when you, when you, when you're just, you know, your channel will be still up and I'll rewatch always your videos. So, yeah, that was my history with me and Guard Falls fan, one, two, three. I really enjoyed being with her. Even the cut sectioning and cool plus was a lot of fun. You know, like we're playing with characters. It was a little bunch of fun. So, the Pony Russell, signing off. Bye!